Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. It's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. And today I am in my classic Franken Planner, Happy Planner, and I'm just going to decorate for this week. So I'm going to pull these pages out so we can go ahead and get started. And again, this is a classic vertical Happy Planner. And I thought it would be fun this week. We're still in spring here to use the Wonderland sticker book. I love this sticker book. It is one of my new favorites. I love these Alice in Wonderland stickers. I just think they're so adorable. So let's go ahead and use these in our big classic size Happy Planner today. I'm calling it big because I'm used to also working in that cute little micro planner. So compared to that, everything is big. But let's start with some of these washi floral stickers. I just think they're really cute. So I'm going to put a couple of these down. And I just put some paper bookmarks in that sticker book where all the washi strip stickers were so I could see if they were matching sets. And then I'm going to grab this rotary color cutter. I got this one from Dollar Tree, you guys. So for $1.25, this great thick rotary cutter. And then use a craft knife to cut that sticker there. Be careful using sharp objects. And I'll put links to all the tools in the description below. And then let's start off with a Cheshire cat. I love having him up here as if he's up in the tree looking down at them. And I think we'll put him here on Sunday with his tail looping right around that Sunday day of the week. I think that's a lot of fun. And then we can't do an Alice in Wonderland spread without having an Alice sticker. So here she is falling down the rabbit hole there. And I was just playing around with where I want to put her. I think we'll put her up at the top of the page so that she has somewhere to fall. And then, of course, we need the evil queen on here. Sorry, queen of hearts. Evil queen is Snow White. Queen of hearts on here. And then let's grab her playing card posse while we're at it. All right, I'm going to put that one back down. Now, I find that when you're putting stickers back down, if you remove that background sheet of sticky sticker paper then it's easier to place your stickers back down so i'll quite often do that so that i can reuse that sticker that i changed my mind on okay so put the cards down put this cute white rabbit sticker down but i don't want that black line running through the middle of the sticker so i'm going to grab my pen till correction fluid pen here and then you can see we can put this pale pale blue sticker back down without that black line running through the middle of it and he just says, move along, move along. And then I'm going to grab my correction tape that I got at Daiso and to cover up that notes box at the top there. And then that way I thought we could layer a sticker over it, but I actually didn't like that one there. I'm going to put it over here with, we're painting the roses red. I love that. And let's use one of these larger margin stickers. Start at the beginning and when you come to the end, stop. And I do like that they added quotes and lines from the actual movie because those Disney princess sticker books, they'd have kind of uplifting quotes, but none of them were from the movie. And so I do like that they're using movie quotes now. So I used one of those floral planner corners behind that one, just to give it some, uh, some more color up there, some depth. And then we can put another photo corner in the bottom and then let's put this Alice be your best self down to fill that space there and then I love these little flags they all coordinate with all the stickers from the book so we'll just put them down as bullet points I'm going to turn them on their side and then let's put some on several days to pull that over just trying to decide which color to use on the other side of the week and with these bullet points, you could either do two or you can do three. You probably could go, get more in there, but I like two or three. And I think one more down here for Monday, but I'm not going to put peach next to that peach sticker. I think we'll do this periwinkle blue. And this time let's do three again. There we go. And that's actually going to do it for us this week. Let me give you guys a close up here. Again, that was the Wonderland sticker book. I'm just going to pop these back in my planner. But I kept it pretty simple, but you can see just using one sticker book, it's all going to coordinate. It's all going to be cute no matter what you do. And it kept it nice and simple. There's still a lot of white space on here that I can add all of my plans. 
There we go. Pop those back on the discs. Let's give you a close up. I love these stickers. You guys let me know if you love them as much as I do. I just think that artwork from Disney's Alice in Wonderland is so adorable. But let me know what you think in the comments down below. Click like if you like this video. Subscribe to see more. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.